Good evening, everyone. We are up to episode number 28 on Ask Grit. Today we have Shamal. Shamal, how are you doing? Hi, Naveen. Being really good. So how's uh, things over there down under? Brilliant, brilliant. Going exceptionally well. All right, all right. Uh, so uh, just, to, uh, just to give a quick intro, uh, we, I mean, we use this program to answer the questions we have from our investors on a weekly basis. And we answer that live so that it can add some value to you uh, in whatever the questions you might have. And even if it doesn't, please feel free to reach us out and ask more questions and we can uh, tackle that in another session. But we are doing that on an every week basis, either Thursday or Friday, so that uh, it will add some value. What have we got today, Shaman? Uh, well, I mean, uh, most of the questions we have received are based from focusing on Melbourne this time around. So yeah. what is really hot in Melbourne? What's uh, going on? Going on in terms of the market or going on in terms of COVID? Sounds like your video is stuck. Looks like Shamal is having some uh, technical difficulties with the video. All right, before he, well, until he joins in, let's continue. Uh, the first question he has got was, what are the best suburbs to invest in and why? Uh, will investing close to the airport have more value? It really depends on uh, your objective is, and there's a number of suburbs which are uh, really growing at the moment in Melbourne. If you're talking close to the airport, uh, I think that was a focus for this week. Uh, the focus was uh, north of Melbourne, uh, especially the regions of Craigieburn, Mickleham, Calcalo, those are uh, really booming right now. The land values have gone up as well as uh, land availability is very scarce. Uh, the moment a developer releases a land list, it just goes out in a flash. Uh, it doesn't la last even for a weekend. So uh, if you're looking at suburbs to invest in, in the north, Mikalam, Calcalo, and um, Craigieburn are really good uh, ones to invest on. We lost you for a second, uh, Shama. Yes, yes, I mean, sorry, uh, there was a no uh, connection issue. Yeah, you have uh, sent the question, so I asked the first question I answered as well regarding the first suburb. So uh, close to the airport, uh, is always beneficial because close proximity, one of the main transportation hubs uh, in Victoria, close to Airport, uh, we're talking about 15, 20 minutes from Craigieburn, Mikalam or Calcalo, all these areas. The growth has been phenomenal and the demand has been exceptional on these areas. Okay, so uh, you are saying uh Northern parts would be the best to invest in terms of, you know, if you are looking at a pure investor's perspective? Yeah, I mean, uh, it really depends on the investor's, uh, investor's requirements. But uh, if they are talking about Northern, uh, these are the suburbs to invest on. But uh, there's no such thing called the best suburb. But uh, there are suburbs in the West, Southeast, as well as North, which are really booming. And based on the investor's requirement, uh, any of those suburbs would be good because, I mean, it's uh, very simple. I mean, as long as there's infrastructure developments, as long as there's population growth, as long as there's employment uh, hubs, which has been created, uh, you simply cannot go wrong in terms of the appreciation. All right. So uh, we'll move on to the next question. Uh, this client actually who had been in touch with us now, uh, yeah. 
had been looking at uh, investing investing in Cloverton, and uh, yeah. fortunately, uh, he you know couldn't uh, secure his land. Any reason now in such uh, instance? You know, Cloverton is uh, done by that development is done by Stockland. It's one of the best uh, master plan communities, and it's going to be the largest master plan communities in Victoria, and uh, probably in the whole of Australia because there will be about 30,000 residents in the next uh, 10 years, and it's going to be a massive development. And the demand is such that uh, the moment uh, a release is done, uh, it's very difficult to uh, get hold of a piece of land. And it has come to a level where uh, you have to join online uh, around 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning, and the people who picks first gets the land. And it has come to that stage uh, because the demand has been so high. So uh, not only that client, but we had so many other clients who have missed out. Uh, unfortunately, that is what it is. Uh, demand is very, very high. But talking about Cloverton, it's going to be huge. It's going to be a massive development. There will be train stations, shopping centers, schools, playgrounds. And uh, you can imagine when 30,000 residents move in there, it's going to be huge. It's so. The next 10 years, uh, if you're investing in Cloverton, it's going to be fantastic. All right. So now in this, uh, as you mentioned, Cloverton uh, and this other suburb, Mikalam, are these close by? Yes, yes. It's uh, right next to each other uh, on Donnybrook Road. Uh, not far at all. Uh, and that's the beauty of uh, those two suburbs because it's right next to each other. Two massive developments coming in. There's business parks coming in. That whole region is going to really boom and blossom for the next 10 years. Okay. And also leading up to beverage, is it now? Correct, yeah. Beverage is another one. It's, uh, again, th that's a piece of lifestyle as well, which is coming into beverage because you get a beautiful 18-hole uh, golf course in the Mandalay Estate and surrounded by that, there's many other estates which are coming in beverage. Uh, it's going to be a lifestyle location. Uh, especially for an occupier or even for an investor. But uh, Mikulam or Kalkalo would be my best bet if they're talking about the northern region. Right. So we have another question coming in. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you all uh, give a rental guarantee for the house? Depends on the location. Uh, we cannot give rental guarantees for every location, but if you're talking about locations like Mikulam, the Northern region, definitely. We always give rental guarantees there because we are very confident of renting them out. And it doesn't last uh, long to rent something out. A lot of people have a perception when it's uh, 35, 40 minutes, 45 minutes away, it's difficult to uh, rent things out, but it's not the case. It's uh, very easy. There's, it is so populated and uh, it will continue to grow the population. With the developments coming up so yeah definitely uh, in Michalam, that area uh, that region uh, we do give rental guarantees okay hope that answers your question mr Pereira. uh and also navin uh, another question coming in uh, how long will uh, it take to uh, get these uh, master plan cities underway with all the infrastructure developments now each of the developments have uh, and in place, uh, for example, the Merrifield Estate, which is in Mikulam, uh, done by MAP Corporation, that has a seven-year plan, which uh, some of the developments have already in place. Uh, for example, phase one of the shopping center is already in place. Coles is open along with some other retail stores. But as phase two, three, around, uh, for example, the last phase will have a beautiful uh, lakefront, an artificial lakefront surrounded by restaurants. It's going to be another Docklands over there. So, uh, as well as there's a business park with these underway. Some of uh, people like Dulux and another ham company have come in already, set up their factories. But uh, it, that particular business park will create 30,000 jobs when it's in full flow. Uh, Metro sheds have come in, some of the schools have come in, but more schools are yet to come. There's community centers yet to come. There's a full-blown plan, and it's uh, it's available for public as well. Uh, 
the next seven years. And similarly, uh, talking about Cloverton, that has a, another 10 to 15 year plan, stage by stage, uh, on on when the train station is coming in. Obvious is for something like a train station, the population has to be there, the train station to be in place. Uh, similarly, schools, shopping centers, there's a massive plan in place for the next 10 to 15 years. All right, Navi. So, uh, in terms of, uh, say, uh, for instance, uh, you basically do not uh, need to go, you know, anywhere else once you have secured your, you know, house in Mikalam or rather Cloverton. It's just basically, you know, you have to go for your job maybe to the city, right, Navi? Or a lot of jobs are, you know, uh, coming up in the market. Yeah, I mean, if it's a, if it's a mostly, if it's a white color job, uh, it'll be in the city. But these case, it'll be from home. Uh, but once things get back to normal, most uh, professionals go to the city. But there's there's so many jobs and employment opportunities, such as the business park, which we'll create. So depending on the job you do, uh, there will be opportunities. Uh, it's good news for uh, owner occupier as well as an investor because uh, your tenant will have all the amenities, all the facilities available. There will not be a requirement in the next five years for them to go anywhere else because everything is in place. And uh, there's connectivity all around. So uh, as an investor, it will be good news because your tenants are well, well, very well looked after. Right. So we have another question coming in. Uh, Question is, uh, what what would be a better investment? Is it a house and land in a suburb, as you are mentioning, or a city apartment? Again, it it boils down to uh, the their objective uh, uh, of the investor. I mean, a uh, lot of people say bad things about apartments, but if you buy the part uh, right apartment at the right location, uh, which has the key ing ingredients right. Uh, it's going to blossom. I mean, again, uh, property is a long-term investment. If you're looking at a 10 to 15 year term, you cannot go wrong. But again, it really depends on the location of the apartment project. So there's no right or wrong answer, Shamal, but uh, uh, the growth is high on house and land uh, can, can, comparatively to apartments. Uh, that has been a fact. But uh, apartments has its own benefits because uh, if it's in the right location, it will yield a better rental return and uh, it can be a positively geared positive cash flow property which might suit a certain investor so uh, i mean both property types are good but house and land will yield a higher return in terms of appreciation all right now so uh, that's all i have uh, from my end uh, anything else you have there yeah i think there's few more questions. Uh, talking about the North, Craigieburn has, uh, can you still buy lands in Craigieburn? Yes, you can. Again, uh, very competitive. Uh, Stockland is doing the development. Uh, again, you, you have to go to a site, even bright, and pick a land when they uh, release them. It's not easy to get a land, but if you're are ready to go if you want to get a title block of land you can buy something from the second hand market uh, mind you craig even is not cheap anymore it has uh, gone up and it will continue to go up because uh, there will be a scarcity of lands as as we can see right now and when that happens uh, the prices can go only one way which is up there is another one shamal uh, Why do you think uh, the developers have incorporated a business park in Mikulam? Well, uh, it was a plan of a, a grand master plan. It, I mean, this was planned uh, probably 10 years ago. Uh, and it is part of growing this northern corridor. Uh, if you look at the north, I mean, you get some industrial zones in places like Kimberfield, Broadmeadows, and so forth, which is about 20 kilometers away from the city. But uh, the developers have brought this concept into the suburbs, which is about 35, 40 minutes away. And I think it's reaping the benefits. I mean, people like Dulux won't be setting up shop 
um, if it's not going to work. And it's all about the infrastructure. There's so much of infrastructure and the connectivity happening and station is in place. Uh, and even those kind of business parks are going where the empl employment as well as the population is growing. Uh, Mikalam, especially the population has been growing uh, rapidly. It's amazing. And uh, that's what they're looking for. And it's good for the commercial uh, aspect of it, as well as it's good for the suburb and uh, the investor. So it's a win-win for overall. And uh, I mean, it just didn't pop up automatically. It has been, the planning has been going on for the past five to 10 years, for sure. Okay, so uh, I have a question at the, my end. Uh, as a client asking, uh, what would you think about the Western and the Southeastern suburbs? Will they also have a good uh, rate of appreciation in the next five years? Uh, of course, it, they would. Uh, it's, uh, it's uh, I mean, we never say it's only the Northern suburbs. Uh, there's always, there's similar things. Uh, if you look at the West, there's so many uh, employment hubs. There's so many transportation developments. There are so many infrastructure developments. As long as we target these key criteria, in any suburb, uh, they will develop. Uh, if you look at the western suburbs, uh, you get the Westgate Tunnel, which is going to come down the traffic dramatically. And then uh, talking about the regional stuff, uh, Geelong, Melbourne, Speed Railway will be a game changer. So that's another very important project. At the same time, there's more shopping centers and things like that coming up in the southeast and train stations. So, I mean, these are all really good projects which will drive growth. And uh, it all boils down to three things, population growth, infrastructure projects, and then employment. If you tick all three boxes, you're not going to go wrong. All right, uh, Mr. Fernando, hope that answers your question. Basically, what Naveen says is uh, you have to meet uh, all these key property market drivers for you to make a decision uh, You know, moving forward. So yeah, that's uh, it from my end, Naveen. Excellent. Uh, hope that has added some value to you, people who are listening in. And uh, as I said before, we are doing this every single week. Feel free to ask any questions. And uh, we have also introduced for investors in Melbourne as well as uh, Sydney, Brisbane. Uh, we are going to have fortnightly sessions, mainly educational property information nights, uh, starting next week on the 14th of October. Uh, at 7 p.m. Melbourne time. We are focusing Melbourne uh, investors on this session, but it will we'll go around the country. We'll be uh, doing webinars uh, every other Thursday at 7 p.m. Uh, if you're interested, please let us know. We'll send you a link to register. It's going to be uh, totally informational, some strategies on how you can expand your property portfolio. Uh, so hope that's of uh, use and it will be valuable. Please join us there. Uh, if you require the link, if you do ask us, send us a message, direct message. We are on all platforms and uh, we are more than happy to send you that link. Until we meet next week, thank you so much for listening. Uh, if you're listening up later, thanks for listening again and feel free to ask questions. Catch you next week. See you soon. All the very best, yes.